Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got some really interesting news. Well, it's hardly news at this point, let's be real, I'm sure you guys have heard about this. They announced this last night, and it was like 2-3 a.m. in Serbia, so I was already in bed, but here I am right now to talk about this. So, Samson Dauda is doing France this weekend. At two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, he is doing another show. Does he need to do this show? Does he need to qualify for next year? Is he like doing this because of the prize money? No, no, I'm sure he's all set. He's going to be in the top five or even top three or potentially win the Mr. Olympia. He doesn't need to do this show, really. Why is he doing it then? How risky is this and what is there to gain for Samson Dauda? That's what we're all wondering. So, in my opinion, what is there to lose? Is he going to get tired from doing this show and like not be able to peak for the Mr. Olympia? Well, previously we've seen that he actually brought better conditioning, better packages to the shows that were after the main show. Like after the Mr. Olympia, he looked better at Prague Pro and Romania Pro. After the Arnold Classic earlier this year, you can say he brought better conditioning, maybe not necessarily better package overall, we can discuss that, but he was, he was better in conditioning at the Arnold Classic UK. So, peaking-wise, bringing the best out of him, doing a show at two weeks out of Mr. Olympia, I don't think that's gonna hurt him. In fact, I think it's most likely going to help him, because he's doing this prep with a new coach, or two coaches, his wife and the guy from Merrick Health who is looking at his blood work. So this is gonna be the first time they're doing the whole prep alone and the peak week as well. So this show is a perfect opportunity for him to test the waters, test the newer protocol and see what his conditioning looks like at two weeks out on stage once he's dehydrated, carved up and peaked for the show. Is there a potential for him to lose this show? Against who? Andrea Presti and uh, Theo Leguerre? That's not happening. That's definitely not happening. Uh, there is no way uh, for Samson to lose this show. He's going to win this one easily. You know, get some money, maybe like 10k. It can hurt, right? So, momentum-wise, it's not really a risk, especially considering how conditioned he is at three weeks out. He's going to be, let's say, in his usual condition, I'm guessing, maybe even a little bit better, because if you compare these two shots, he was basically a little bit more conditioned a couple of days out of Arnold Classic than he is uh, right here three weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and that's without dehydration, so I'm guessing he's going to look at this show basically the same way he looked at the Arnold Classic, maybe a little bit improved, you know, I'm guessing I'm gonna see more improvements in all the body parts, because every time we see this guy on stage so far, he always made more progress, so I, I think he's probably gonna be a little bit better, we'll probably see like more gains in his uh, back, maybe shoulders, maybe arms, Arms. We'll see, but I'm expecting a better version of Samson Dauda, his best ever at this upcoming show in France. And then after that, he has two more weeks to do whatever it takes. Like he's gonna see on the stage, we're gonna see what he looks like on the stage with this condition, with this package. Maybe it's gonna be good enough and he just needs to cruise like that into the show, into the Mr. Olympia. Or, which is a more likely scenario, he's gonna have to push down the conditioning a little bit more and get even leaner for the Mr. Olympia. But like doing a show and like winning it and you know, it's gonna, I think it's gonna help him basically in every sense possible. He's going to win it. So I don't know how much it's gonna push him, help him mentally, but like the last two shows he did, he lost. He lost both of them. Even though it was the best possible version of Hari Chopin, it still sucks to lose, man. Like, I've been there, you know, I'm competing at a much, much lower level, but, like, I usually win the shows that I'm doing. And I competed once at the IBB World Championships, and even though it was, like, the biggest show, the biggest amateur show in my league over here, I placed second, and that's probably my biggest accomplishment in my competitive career. I still felt bad, you know, because I didn't win. I was so close to winning, and I lost. Even though that second place is a, is a good success, you know, still, you either win or you lose. And I lost. And six months later, basically, I did European Championships and I won that and I won the overall of my category. So then I was happy and I was really happy. And Samson, again, like, even though Haida Japan was super good 
And like, you know, Samson did his best, but even though he looked amazing, he still couldn't beat Hari. He plays second and it must have sucked. So now, you know, getting a trophy, getting a win prior to the Mr. Olympia, it's probably gonna boost his confidence a little bit. It means absolutely nothing, this win, momentum-wise, but he might feel better mentally in his head. Getting that 10k is a great thing, testing the waters, testing the new peak week, seeing what he looks like on stage, and on top of it all, as he says in his post, he just loves to compete, man. The guy wants to do multiple shows in a year, and that's what he's gonna do. He always said that, he's doing that, and that's what makes Samson so awesome. Like, he's not like the other guys who are doing one show a year, like, you know who, I mean, the current Mr. Olympia. Samson is not like that. He is willing to travel, to compete, to go on that stage, and he even said that after the Mr. Olympia, he's gonna start his prep for the Arnold immediately. Win or lose. So that's what he's like, he wants to be on stage, he wants to compete as much as possible while he is still active as a pro, as a top pro, even if he wins the Mr. Olympia, he's gonna be doing the other shows like Arnold Classic, so that's what Samson is like, you know, whether you like it or not, I mean, I'm sure you like it, everybody loves it, uh, it's gonna make this upcoming France Pro very exciting, and I'm really curious to see what kind of package is he going to present at that show and what we can expect for the Mr. Olympia. After that show, I'm going to make my prediction, my top 10 prediction for the Mr. Olympia, or top 15, we'll see. But yeah, after we see him on that stage, we're gonna have a pretty good idea of what he's gonna bring to the Mr. Olympia stage. Alright, next up, we got a physique update from Rafael Brandau. And it's been a while since we saw a physique update from him, and damn, this is looking really <laughs> impressive. I mean, I knew that he was gonna get in shape, like, quickly. Because in his previous updates, he looked like he was, like, not even close to being stage ready. But that's the thing with Rafael. He has a super crazy fast metabolism. And he gets shredded really, really quickly. So there you go. He's already in very good condition. And he's actually managing to maintain, like, crazy amount of size and fullness. And it seems like he's even bigger than he was in the Arnold Classic. And conditioning is, like, almost there. Not quite. But three weeks or like two and a half weeks for him is a long, long time. He can definitely get in really good condition in that time. But, you know, he's already almost there. But what I am more focused on is how much size and fullness is he maintaining. And this is actually looking very good. Very good. I mean, this guy is, at this point, I would have to say he's probably uh, underrated. And I spoke about this earlier, like, he was, like, after the Arnold Classic, people thought that he was gonna be, like, in the top six of the Mr. Olympia, and lately people kind of forgot about him, you know, he hasn't competed in a while, and people forgot about him, but he is definitely somebody who needs to be taken seriously. Like, he was 10th at the Mr. Olympia already, I think two years ago, and this year, I mean, in my prediction, I was thinking he's probably gonna be, like, 10th, you know, around 10th, but after seeing this, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I see him in the top 5, like, edging out Andrew Jack, but 6th, you know, I can see him beating Hunter Labrada, um, Brandon Curry, that's very possible, I can see a call out between him and Martin Fitzwater for that 6th, I think that's a very likely scenario, as long as he gets more condition, this is not good enough, this is not stage ready, but then again, 2.5 weeks, it, it is enough for him. You know, it probably wouldn't be for many other guys, but for him, it's enough. And I'm happy to see that he is still very big, I mean, probably bigger than before, than the Arnold Classic, where he placed very, very convincingly third. Like, there was no chance of anybody else taking that third spot, and there was some talk that maybe he could have, like, you know, battled for the second against Samson. I didn't see it that way, I think there was really no chance of that happening, but like, there was some talk, some people talk that, so if people are considering that, then that means that he is very, very good. So again, I don't see him in the top 5, not very likely, but it's not impossible. There is also a small possibility of him taking out guys like Nick Walker, or maybe even Andrew Jack. It's not likely, guys, take it easy. Just like with Martin Fitzwater, it's probably not gonna happen. These guys are most likely out of top five, but I can see a, a possibility, a slight possibility of him cracking that top five. Again, most likely not gonna happen, but there is a slight chance. Never say never. Next weekend is going to be really interesting because we actually have two shows to watch. France Pro with Samson and Legion Sports Fest 
with Brett Wilkin and probably Patrick Moore, but Brett Wilkin just posted a physique update, and uh, I gotta tell you, he is actually looking really phenomenal at this point, it seems like Brett is bringing something really good this year. I'm pretty sure he's absolute best ever, so at this point he looks bigger than ever, and I would say it's probably gonna be his best conditioning up to date. I mean, this guy is actually super genetically blessed, you know, if he was younger, I would think he's gonna be like the future of the sport. I mean, he did kinda start his career recently, so let's say his body is fresh, and he probably has a lot more years to refine his body to progress even more, but he is not that young. I think he started competing like in 2018 and he was already like 25, 26 at the time and he was doing classic physique. So even though he never he never went to the Mr. Olympia, I think he qualified, but he never went to the Mr. Olympia as far as I know. Um, I think he was prepping last year, but he decided to quit because he had some uh, gut issues. Uh, he never went to the Mr. Olympia stage, but he's not exactly super young. But he probably has a lot more years, kind of like uh, Justin Shire, for example. And if he continues progressing at this pace, he can be, I think, one of the top guys. I mean, he has, like, crazy, crazy round and, like, very symmetrical, very, like, nice-looking aesthetic shape. And, you know, has that quality of the skin, of the muscle, really good waistline, really good abs. So, yeah, very, very proportionate, very aesthetic physique with a lot of size as well. And now he's bringing conditioning. And, yeah, I'm calling it. He is winning Legion Sport. I don't think there is a chance of Patrick Moore taking that away from, from, from Brad. And we're gonna see him on the Mr. Olympia next stage, hopefully, if, if all goes well. But this is what he looks like right now. You guys tell me down below in the comment section what do you think. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up for more content like this, guys. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to show me some love, just go to the hostel supplements, buy whatever you need, and use the code EVAN for a 10% discount. Even 10, actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye bye.